Hello everyone, it's Marilyn here. Welcome to my channel. I have today uh, my first video tutorial with the June Limited Edition kit. I made an unboxing video. If you want to see all the products that comes in the kit, I will let you uh, down below the link to this video. And I'm going to use the new Distress Oxide inks to create different effects and techniques uh, on my page. So let's get started. Okay, I cut out many flowers from this paper. I'm using the Kaiser Craft High Tea Collection to make my page today. And because this paper is thin, I recommend you to prime it. And I'm, I'm going to use gel medium to prime my paper. I'm just applying with a paintbrush over all the paper. And once uh, it's all uh, ready, I will let it dry and I'm going to uh, give a coat of gel medium to all the flowers too. Now I'm going to let it dry everything. Now with a baby wipe, I clean uh, the shoe board. I am removing the dust that it has. And I'm going now to prime. I'm using the gesso to prime the shoe board. I'm just dabbing uh, with a paintbrush and apply the gesso uh, to all the shoe board. Okay, now is that I'm going to use the new Distress Oxide and use a sponge to apply the Distress over all the shoe board. And the difference between this one, the Oxide and the Distress Ink is that the Distress Inks are a dye base. And this one, this new one, the Oxides are a hybrid uh, of dye and pigment inks. That's the reason if you see that I will cover immediately with one layer all the chipboard. It's excellent to paint a uh, chipboard. I love how easy it was to cover all the chipboard with this new ink. Now I take my bottle of water. I'm going to sprinkle it. Um, it has many drops uh, randomly and I'm going to use a paper towel to absorb that water and it remove uh, the paint from the chibora. You can see here the part of the oxide effect. You can, if you want, you don't have to use a towel. You can dry it with your heat towel and it would give you uh, any way the oxide effect. But I want to remove part of the ink. That was the reason I used the paper towel. Now I'm adding uh, in some areas a little more of a color i think uh it was uh, too whitish so look how cool <laughs> it looks now i'm going to use the heat tool to dry it then i am um, i put uh the shoe board on my page and i'm using the pencil to trace around the shoe board I make some cross uh, in some areas. This is the area that I, wa I want to give uh, textures um, because the stencil is 12 by 12. I just need to uh, be sure when I'm going to add the texture. That is the reason I make some cross. Okay, now I'm go uh, I want to secure the stencil and I'm using washi tape to adhere it to my mat. I don't want that when I am applying the modeling paste it will move so um, this is the modeling paste that I'm going to use this is by Prima Marketing and I apply with a spatula the modeling paste but if you notice only in some ar the areas that I make the mark with the pencil I don't want to cover all the paper because this paper is, is pretty it, it has a wood grain I just only want to add interest with the with the textures in some area you see
okay i removed the stencil carefully and i'm going to dry it with the tool now i'm going to adhere the chipboard i'm using tacky glue and because i already have the marks on the pencil i know when i'm going to adhere it now i just make a little pressure uh, over the chipboard and here i add a piece of cheesecloth i love the textures that the cheese, cheese cloth adds to uh, to my page with the photo now I'm going to place all these uh, paper flowers but I want to create different layers for that reason you will see that I'm going to place one flowers behind the chipboard others over others behind the photo in that way I, I'm, I'm creating the different layers and at the same time when you look the page it, it, you can see the dimensions that I'm creating through all, through all these layers here is when I distress uh, I decided to distress uh, with the same ink all the borders of these flowers and other thing that I'm going to do because I don't want uh, that all these flowers look flat so I'm not going to adhere it flat on my page I'm going to use a 3D foam tape to create more dimension on, on the flowers. You will see now. Now I'm going to add uh, a, the quote that I select as my title. I cut uh, this from one of the paper and I, because it, it was long, I cut in pieces, in strips. And I'm going now to distress each strips with my scissor and then I'm going to distress with ink all the pieces and adhere it to this uh, side of the paper. Now I'm going to use the Distress Oxide again. This is the uh, warm lipstick color. I just put the ink right, right into my craft sheet. And with a uh, paintbrush, I uh, pick up the color and put it in, direct on my paper. I am trying to, uh, to blend it with the uh, paintbrush around all the area, but I want to uh, I, I'm trying to play with it, so I, I spread it uh, water over the mat. Uh, to I think that with water it's easier to blend the color around all this area. You can see now the stencil work now that I apply the color. One thing that I notice is that when I uh, spread sprinkle the the water, sprinkle the water, uh, the colors become like pastel, a soft pink colors so uh, that's the reason that I think that I like more uh, pastel so that is the reason that I continue adding water and also because uh, it's easier to blend with water and I'm going to continue adding uh, painting uh, all this area I try to do uh, in some areas not in all uh, not around all the the work you will see how I, I will work if you notice i continue adding water because i want to blend the colors and um, in some areas i let it uh, very pink and in other areas i try that uh like a create like a ombre effect not an ombre effect i think that is more like a degrade effect I'm trying to uh, make uh, the gradation of the colors and I will continue adding uh, color here and there. And let me tell you one thing that uh, I realized uh, now that uh, I am uh, editing uh, my video, that one part of the 
paint uh, wasn't recorded so I will explain you that I, after I applied the this red oxide in the worn lipstick I I made the same but with the first color that I use the ice um, spruce color because I want to add like dimension and it was uh, too pink <laughs> so I add the color gray in some area but I'm um, sorry uh, it, it wasn't recorded I don't know what happened with uh, my camera but if you notice I will continue add coloring here and there and blending because I don't want that uh, they look uh, too pink in this area I only want to add a little of color and I use the paper towel to remove uh, part of the paint that is the the thing that I love about this color that you can uh, because it's pigments you can add a lot of color but at the same time you will notice that I am sprinkling water in some areas and I'm going to use the paper towel to uh, remove all the uh, ink and at the same time it will create the oxide effect now that has the uh, oxide effect I will add the second color and um, this is the part that uh, it wasn't recorded but if you see I already add the ice sprout uh, distress and with the I give the same technique that I did with the that I made with the pink color and I uh, spray water and I remove the water with the top paper towel and then I added uh, white paint splatters around all the other to create more textures once I made all this paint splatter I decided to make some holes in the paper but my camera didn't record it so I'm going to explain you what I did I just take my craft knife and you, if you see here I make this hole and distress the borders and once uh, and I add the um, prima flowers and then I adhere it to this paper I'm trying to play with the paper because I want to see the flowers through the the holes that I made and I adhere it then I'm going to adhere the paper the, the my page to a piece of shibboard this is a 12 by 12 shibboard and I adhere it too and they make the, uh, the page very firm and strong and then I add a few of the um, flowers, paper flowers here and there to complete uh, my embellishment decor. Now I trim off the excess of paper. Okay, I add here some glass beads with gel medium. I use a uh, pink glass bead. And at this moment, I am adhering some pearls. These are small, very tiny um, pearl. And I'm using liquid glass as adhesive here. Now I'm adding some hearts. These are the stickers that comes in the kit and I'm using the hearts in color gray and pink and put them randomly in between the flowers and all the embellishment now I'm going to make some stamping I'm using a memento ink with a st prima stamp from my stuff and I'm going to add uh, to stamp randomly around all the design I think it gives uh, it will enhance more all the details with this stamping because create uh, like a shadows in some area and I think this is uh, I'm happy how how my page looks so far so I think this is the last step well guys this is my project for today I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and let me know what you think with a comment below and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and the link to this kit is in the description box as 
are the links to my blog and social media in case that you want to see more of my work and I come back soon with an another video tutorial. I see you soon guys. Nos vemos. Bye bye.